In this video tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to make something called a sticky navigation menu. Now, uh, what we're talking about here is, you see my black navigation menu, as, as I scroll down my long page, you see that the navigation menu gets stuck to the top over here, or fixed to the top. Um, and this is a pretty common UI pattern you're going to see for pages that are uh, pretty long because it allows the visitor to you know, scroll down the page and if they want to go to other sections of either the site or maybe these are anchors to different areas of the page, um, they could easily do that just by referring to the top. So. Um, this there's plenty of plugins out there that'll do this for you, but I feel like uh, my implementation is pretty uh, cross-browser friendly and light enough to you know if you you just want this this uh, feature on your page, uh, you might as well not even download a, a bigger uh, plugin uh, because it'll just save you you know those couple of precious bytes. So um, let's first cover sort of requirements because I don't want to go over all the details I'm just going to focus on the actual navigation menu first off you should be able to build a um, a basic layout with HTML and CSS similar to what you see here. Uh, nothing fancy going on. I just have essentially one big container div. This here in the middle is just a, a banner that I put down there, an image. Underneath that is a navigation menu div. And then I have the main content div container. And uh, obviously I added some background styles just for this tutorial. Uh, no big deal. Inside over here is an unordered list. Um, concept that you're going to need to know is fixed positioning and if you uh, Google CSS fixed positioning um, you should quickly figure out what it is now fixed positioning is what makes this navigation menu stay on top at this point it's actually fixed in that position uh, where before it's not um, and uh, the other thing that you're going to need to know is that this implementation is happening through uh, JavaScript jQuery. So if you don't have a basic understanding of some JavaScript jQuery, then um, you should probably refer to, for starters, I actually created a video series called Super Simple JavaScript jQuery Tutorials, where if you're a, a total uh, noob and you want to get a, a quick and dirty intro, we go over stuff like variables, uh, arrays, if, if else statements, all things that we're going to cover uh, in this implementation. And of course, uh, you're going to need to know jQuery, uh, at least to the extent that we'll use a couple of jQuery functions, but most importantly, you're going to need to know how to select elements with jQuery. So now, um, well, let's get right into it. So. Here I have the basic skeleton template of this page that you see. It has everything except the actual code that makes the navigation sticky. So, um, and if we take a peek right over here, this is the only area I'm going to work with. Uh, I have my script tag for JavaScript. Uh, of course, I have jQuery uh, linked to this page. I did my document ready function to load this as soon as the document is ready. And, um, and we're ready to rock and roll. So now let me first bring this back up. Let's think about what it would take to make this navigation happen like this. Well, the first thing that I guess we're talking about what JavaScript needs to, how it's going to manipulate this thing. Now, the first thing is that JavaScript needs to know that we are working with this navigation uh, uh, item. So what I'm going to do right here is create a new variable, and I'll call it nav. Um, and then equals, and of course, I'm going to use a jQuery selector on this. and uh, this this class that I used for it is nav menu. There we go. So at this point, all I've done is created a variable that is referring to this element over here, this navigation item. Okay. So what we need next is to know. Um, well, let's just say that we have uh, since my navigation uh, div only gets in a fixed position once we get past a certain point, um, we're going to need to figure out some kind of calculation, like how is this going to know how big 
this banner is. You know, I have it 850 by 240 now, but if we have it a different size banner, we want it to work with all sorts of things. So what I'm going to do is uh, create another variable called, yep, you guessed it, banner, that is going to look at that uh, element specifically. Now what I've done is actually I'm using a um, CSS header image. So it's just an image in there. I'm sorry, not a CSS header image. I created a, a header element, HTML5, and in there is the image. So I don't want to just use image, although I guess I could, but um, but I feel like that wouldn't be specific enough and I could mess around with other images on my page. So I'm specifically targeting, if we look over here, this, uh, in my header, this image right over here. Okay, so now the other thing we need to worry about is this thing's position in here because remember, this only gets fixed positioning once it sort of passes this scroll point over here. So um, I'm going to create another variable for that specifically. Variable, and let's call it position, pose, I don't want to name it position specifically because I don't want to get it messed up with my nav dot position. Okay. And this is a jQuery function. So you could, oops, you know, you could look into this yourself with a little Google magic and um, you'll find plenty of information on uh, the position function. Great. So now we have our three variables and Honestly, our code isn't doing anything. We're basically just setting the stage. We got the navigation menu in check. We got the the image, the header image over here, and we have this position uh, function, which is going to figure out the position of where it is. But now, what we need to worry about is when we're actually scrolling, because that's when Jake or JavaScript needs to pay attention to what's going on. Hey, the user's scrolling. Once they get past a certain position, we need to do something. So. I'm going to do this. First, I'm going to target the window because the whole thing is that we're scrolling the window. So the function I'm going to use, the jQuery function, is scroll. And then I am going to create a function for this to have to do something with. Um, and let me bring this down a bit. And, or Let's see, what am I going to do? Yeah, the scroll function has a bunch of stuff to do. So, okay, so here are the functions ready to go. I'm going to create the curly braces and we're going to add more stuff in here now. Um, so, when things are scrolling, well, the first thing I need to do is I'm going to create another variable because this is going to, this variable is going to happen once. Um, once the scrolling starts happening. And I'm going to go window pause for window position. I'm going to go equals and then we'll go, uh, we'll do again window dot scroll top. So what we've done at this, wait a second, window, oh, windows, here we go. Thanks for catching. Okay, window dot scroll top. So we said that the window position at this point is at the very top. That's all that's all we've said uh right when before we even did anything cuz you know, that's it. So now now we're going to do an if else statement cuz here's where really the the heart of the functionality happens. I'll go if wait, let's let me just copy this so I don't mess up my semantic stuff. If window position is greater than or equal to banner dot outer height okay um, now it needs to do something so what I'm saying here is that if the window position which by the way when it's scrolled at the very top is equal to zero is greater than the um, the outer height it's going to take a measurement of this well we want it to do something and what I wanted to do is add a class a CSS class that's going to make it stick to the top so what I could do there is I'll go banner dot because banner is remember is my variable here which is this guy banner dot 
that's exactly what I'm what I'm working for over or mm, duh duh banner nav because it's my navigation dot add class and I'll go fixed top okay so what I've done here is said that I'm going to add a class called fixed top to it now if we look in my CSS my fixed top positions the CSS to fixed position at the top zero that's why it's sitting over there. Uh, I added some width and some margins. I just did that to position it and all this other stuff. But um, but really, the 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 key of it is this fixed position. So we're saying that if the browser window is greater than or equal to the height of this, add the fixed top. If we didn't have this greater than or equals to the outer height of the banner this thing would just actually end up positioning itself to the top as soon as we even start moving scrolling but we want it to only do that once we pass the outer height of this element like so so that's it then it's gonna work um, now we have to do something else we have to do the opposite because if it's back at the top we don't want it to be um, fixed position right we want it to be um, nav here, I'm just going to take this whole thing, nav, and I'll go remove class, and that should do it. I'm wondering if I have, I feel like I have something missing over here. Curly brace, this is not closed, so now we have another one open, closed, open, closed, closed. I think I'm just sort of eyeballing it now. I'm hopeful. Okay, let's see. I did all this, and I'm hoping my code just works beautifully. So um, let's see. I'm working on this file specifically. Fingers crossed, guys. Here we go, and voila. So it's um, not very much code at all. And, you could even minify it after this, but this is what it takes to create your own sticky navigation menu.